one of the most hazardous substances by a government agency. And it's linked to everything from neurological to respiratory problems and even cancer. Yet it's lurking in an estimated 30 million American homes. It's chlordane. It's a chemical formerly used to get rid of termites, which was taken off the market more than a decade ago, but may still be a hidden danger in your home. We got sick right away. I didn't understand at first what it was. Okay. Now, Anne McLeod blames the pesticide chlordane for her family's health problems, which began soon after she started renting this house. Patrick has experienced a toxic, was diagnosed when she was eight with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. My husband had met stage two metastasized thyroid cancer. Jeffrey has um, a growth on his eardrum. The house was treated with chlordane to fight termites. And says it was misapplied the week before her family moved in. It leached through the walls, the cinder block walls, and into the basement. It was vented from the air conditioner in the basement up into the house. The McLeods say they moved out after the Department of Environmental Protection found levels of chlordane inside the house that were 15 to 20 times higher than what is considered safe. It's no surprise that with the very high levels that you were exposed to during pregnancy, we Dr. Michael Gottschfeld is one of the nation's leading environmental health doctors. And he's treating 15-year-old Patrick McLeod for what he calls toxic brain syndrome. We've got really good evidence in Patrick's case of the high levels of exposure to chloridane and heptachlor, which were misapplied in the house into which Ms. McLeod and her husband moved in the middle of her pregnancy. Patrick suffers from severe learning disabilities and developmental problems. I would like to be in the same classes with my friends. Last year, the Environmental Protection Agency released a risk report on chloridane. It links the pesticide to several health problems, including depression and neurological disorders. There are also links to infertility in mice. The most serious risk, the EPA says there's evidence that chlordane causes liver cancer in mice and that it's a probable human carcinogen. I moved in a house that turned out to be contaminated with chlordane and myself and my family became sick. Dr. Richard Cassidy is a toxicologist. For him, the fight against chlordane poisoning is a personal mission. He's been studying chlordane for years and says it's as big a problem as lead or radon poisoning. In animal studies, t uh, is one of the most potent carcinogens ever tested. Even at low levels, Dr. Cassidy says breathing chlordane vapors over a long period of time is hazardous to your health. Well, research has shown that it affects uh, three main systems in our body, the nervous system, the immune system, and the reproductive system. Environmental scientists who make it their job to track dangerous chemicals for the government agree. Chlordane is toxic, period. Some of the typical... ...27, seven, Velsicol, the manufacturer of chlordane, made an agreement with the EPA to voluntarily pull the pesticide off the market. But the company denies any connection to cancer, stating it's hard to believe a chemical that has undergone so much research could be linked to cancer. Velsicol also told us when anyone has had an issue with chlordane, it's been a direct link to misapplication. There's still high levels. Doctors admit misapplications of chlordane cause the most serious health problems, but there's no way of telling how many mistakes were made. As we learn more and more about the pesticides, we learn how important it is to be careful in their applications. And experts say chlordane lasts for decades. It's been shown that it, these homes maintain a certain level um, 30, 40 years after treatment. So, do you know if your house has been treated with chlordane? Despite the EPA call to remove the pesticide from the market and concerns that chlordane may be a carcinogen, there is no federal law requiring anyone to tell you whether a house has been treated with chlordane. What it's called so what do you do if you're worried about possible contamination? You can check the levels in your home with a testing kit. Dr. Cassidy developed the method. 80% of the samples that I receive are above that risk assessment value established by the United States EPA. Anne McLeod believes everyone with a home built between 1950 and 1988 should test. She says she's speaking out now so that other victims of pesticide exposure will know they're not alone. This is such a concern. It's an everyday thing. There are a lot of families sitting out there isolated like us. Now, before you buy a house, experts say to ask whether the house was built before 1988, which would seem to be a no-brainer. You'd want to know when it was built anyway. But you may not remember to ask when it was treated for termites. And if it's been treated between 1950 and 1988, you want to know that and watch for chlordane. That's really scary. I'd be willing to bet that you, and I know it's the first I've ever heard of it. Have you ever I, heard of it no, before? No, I've never heard of it yeah. before. That's really scary. Bad news for a lot of folks. Yeah.